Good morning. My name is Elizabeth and I'm a music therapist with Notable Music Therapy Services in Reno, Nevada. Thank you for joining me for this morning's music and mindfulness. We're so excited to be able to offer today's class for free here on YouTube so that we can keep the music going and stay connected throughout these times of isolation. You are important to us and I'm glad that I can be here with you today. Let's get started. Our plan for today is to slow down with a guided relaxation set to music. We'll start by breathing deeply, checking in with our physical sensations. I'll play the guitar and guide you through with my voice. Beginning by taking slow and deep inhales in through the nose. An easy breath out through the mouth. Another deep breath in through the nose. Followed again by an easy and long exhale. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. As we breathe deeply, I notice that my body begins to settle down into my seat. Breathing in through the nose, filling the lungs with air. And out through the mouth, if it feels appropriate, maybe allowing the sides of your mouth to turn up ever so slightly. If that doesn't feel appropriate for you today, know that that's okay. Taking a slow breath in through the nose, long breath out through the mouth. I invite you to check in with your body sensations. So when we check in with our bodies and our physical sensations, we can begin one part of the body or another. Maybe starting today at the crown of the head our focus to the very top of our skull. Scanning down the body, noticing what parts of your body feel tension or discomfort. And what parts of the body feel lovely, maybe feel at ease. Continuing to breathe in as we scan our bodies and out, bringing our attention to the muscles of the face, the jaw, the neck and shoulders, breathing in and breathing out, noticing your shoulders, your chest and upper back body, taking a slow breath in. a long breath out, another slow breath in, and on your exhale, if you haven't already done so, I invite you to allow your eyes to gently and softly close. If you prefer to keep your eyes open, that is also a wonderful choice. Remembering that you know your body, you know your mind best. You know what's right for you today and what feels good. Only you can know that answer for yourself. So breathing in and breathing out. Continuing to notice our physical sensations in our bodies. Moving down the spine through the mid body the low belly and low back, pelvis, breathing in and breathing out, letting go and releasing, noticing now the upper part of our legs, 
our bottoms, our knees, and our calves, breathing in slowly and lovingly, and releasing with an exhale. Noticing all the way down to the calves, the ankles, the heels, the soles of your feet, and your toes. Remembering to check in with the arms, the hands, and the fingers here. Taking a slow breath in. And a long breath out. Beautiful. Now that we've scanned our bodies one time, all the way from the top to the bottom, noticing the parts of our bodies that feel discomfort or that feel ease, or maybe both. I'm going to take a few moments here, recognizing those parts of the body that feel discomfort or tension. Spend some time breathing into those parts of the body. So wherever you are in space, whether you're sitting or lying down, maybe you're standing, breathing into those body parts, breathing in fully, filling the lungs with air. And on your exhale, imagining space coming to those parts of your body that need it most. Space, relaxation, and ease as you breathe in and breathe out. Again, breathing into those parts of the body that may feel uncomfortable. With every exhale, imagining your muscles softening and letting go of the tension. Although it may take some time, some practice, our breath can transform us from moments of overwhelm and fear to experiences of being present, feeling calm or regulated, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Wonderful. Taking one more moment here to breathe into any part of the body that can use some extra love this morning. I am sending my breath to my neck, the back of my neck, and the muscles surrounding my spine and my mid-back body, taking a full breath in through my nose, and a long breath out. If you find that staying still feels wonderful for you, please indulge in the stillness. Otherwise, I'm going to encourage you to find some gentle and easy movement now. Continuing to breathe deeply and noticing your phys physical sensations as we move through space and time. Taking a big breath in and a long breath out. We'll start by moving our head around space. And of course, Keeping in mind that you know yourself best. If you find that you want to start with a different body part today, some gentle, easy movement, please do that. <sighs> but I'll start by moving my head back and forth, maybe nodding yes, as I continue to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> and nodding my head no, shaking it no. Breathing in, maybe pausing side to side, feeling that stretch, the space created in your neck and side body. 
As we move our heads, our necks around, perhaps we can play with some movement of the jaw as well. I know it's a lot of parts that we're thinking about moving along with the breath. It's a lot to think about all at once. And I'm sure that along with noticing our physical sensations and our breath, every one of us has a unique experience right now. Although we may share some similarities, some common struggles. Acknowledging your thoughts and emotions. Like maybe an old friend. If your thoughts and emotions are prickly today or difficult, maybe it's a friend who you need some space from sometimes. I like to sometimes imagine those difficult feelings and thoughts when they are too much for me as a, as a friend or loved one that you need to help out, offer some kindness to. All right, back to moving our bodies gently, with ease. If you feel satisfied with the motion in your head and neck and jaw, oh, I never talked about the jaw, stretching the jaw open like you're taking a big yawn. Maybe you do end up taking a big yawn. <sighs> we'll focus now on our shoulders if it feels right for you as we continue to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. We can experiment with raising our shoulders up to meet our ears on our inhales, breathing in and rising the shoulders up before letting them fall and glide down the back with an easy exhale. A few more of those if it feels right in your body. Breathing in and bringing your shoulders up to meet the ears. In and down, let it go. Finding that space in the neck and the jaw. Uh, and for me, it feels really good to come back to moving my head and my neck after I move my shoulders. It might feel good to place one shoulder in front and the other behind. Maybe turn to look over one shoulder as you continue to breathe deeply. Ah, before switching sides, one shoulder in front, the other reaching back. Breathing deeply as you stretch and turn to look over your other shoulder. to focus on my upper back body and upper chest here. So I spend a lot of my time slouching forward and when I feel stressed or scared that seems to occur even more. I feel a lot of pain and discomfort in my back, my neck, my head. So for me I like to spend some time, some deep breaths on stretching my back behind as if you are squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades, taking a big breath in and a big breath out. Good. Uh, let's do that one more time, squeezing our shoulders back as if we're squeezing a pencil between the shoulder blades behind us. Letting go. Now to counter that, we'll bring our shoulders forward a little bit. So lean into that slouching position. Taking a big breath in, maybe to look up, breathing in. And on our breath out, we'll come forward, letting our head fall towards our chest, chin towards the chest, finding space and relaxation in the neck here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that stretch and breathe deeply. I'll continue to play. Please continue to inhale and exhale as we experience this stretch in the back of our necks. Good, one.
one more breath here. Wonderful. Again, taking any movements you need, maybe returning to the head or neck, jaw, shoulders. Next, we'll focus on our pelvises. So, we can imagine our pelvis as a water basin, and we can imagine if we tip that water basin forward, our water might spill out the front. And this might look like an arch in our back as we tilt our pelvis forward, spilling our water out the front and taking a big breath in. And a long breath out as we come back to a neutral position. Be experimenting with the placement of your feet on the ground if your feet are against the ground before we prepare to tilt our pelvis back as if we're taking a cat position in yoga a little bit of that stretch that we just had with the back of our neck but this time we're focusing more on the lower part of our spine our low back taking a big breath in here and spilling our water out the back of our basin before coming back to a neutral position. You notice me rolling around. I am sitting on an exercise ball. And next, wherever you are, I'm going to encourage us to move side to side, however that is for you. Maybe you move mostly with your torso, or maybe you're just moving your hips side to side. Just experimenting with some lateral movement here as we continue to breathe deeply. I'm going to pause my guitar playing for a moment here. I need to wake up my recording device, make sure it's still working. But I encourage you to please stick with your breath as I stop playing. Continue to breathe in deeply through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. Taking those slow, easy breaths in. And out. Now let's move the lower parts of our bodies. We've got our thighs, our calves, our ankles, our toes. I'm going to leave it up to you to decide how you want to move the lower part of your body today. I am going to choose to flex and point my toes, my ankles, as I continue to breathe deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. I know you can't see my feet, but I'm rolling my ankles around here. Maybe it feels good to tense your thighs or your buttocks or your calves. Again, listening to your body and trusting in your own intuition. Before coming back to a moment of stillness, breathing deeply. Noticing now your physical sensations and if they've changed at all from the beginning from just 20 minutes ago. Noticing also your thoughts and emotions without judgment, recognizing that they may change and that's okay. Breathing in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Before we go today, I'd like to leave you with a mantra that I learned from a yoga teacher named Willow in Colorado. Remembering to breathe in through the nose 
and out through the mouth. This mantra can be applied to a few different contexts. And we'll begin first by imagining, if you feel in the space to do this, imagining a person who has influenced your life for the better, maybe a teacher or a family member or a friend, or maybe it was a stranger who showed you kindness one day. Once you decide on a person who has had a meaningful impact on your life, I invite you to imagine and envision that person in your mind. And as we breathe in, we can send them the wish, may you be happy. May you be happy. next breath in, we can wish, may you be safe, may you be safe. Breathing in, may you be well. Exhaling, and inhaling, may you be peaceful and at ease, taking a slow inhale, may you be peaceful and at ease. Releasing your energy and your breath through the mouth. Letting go now of that person. And bringing to mind, again, only if you feel safe in this moment doing so, a person who has brought some conflict in your life. And again, this may be a teacher or a friend or a family member, a stranger. Maybe someone who you no longer talk with, but please imagine someone who is safe. We have all sorts of different conflicts in life with others, disagreements. We know it's okay to disagree. Conflict is a part of life. So imagining this person who you've had conflict with before, we're going to send them those same intentions. So breathing in. May you be happy. And breathing out. May you be happy. Breathing in. May you be safe. Breathing out. May you be safe. and at ease. May you be peaceful and at ease. Taking a big breath in and a long breath out. Letting go of that person checking back in with yourself. We're going to go through those intentions, those mantras once more, but this time I want you to dedicate them to yourself. Taking a cleansing breath in. And a loving breath out, loving yourself. 
as we prepare to send ourselves these sweet words and messages. Taking a slow breath in, may you be happy. Long breath out, may you be happy. With a slow breath in, may you be safe. breath in, feeling your stomach and chest rise and expand. And a long breath out, an easy breath. Continuing to breathe deeply, noticing your physical sensations. I currently feel some tingling throughout my body, all the way from my face to the soles of my feet. I know that it may be difficult if you're first starting out to share those kind and loving words with yourself. Just know that you're not alone. It's not something that we've, most of us have been taught to do, and it takes practice just like speaking kindly to plants can help them grow, speaking kindly to ourselves can help ourselves to grow or simply be, simply exist. Thank you for engaging in this practice with me this morning know that if you found a place of relaxation or ease, that this is your place to access. Through deepening your breath, and listening to your body, listening to what it needs as it continues to carry you and protect you. Before we go, We'll take three big breaths together, and on our third exhale, our third breath out, I'll invite you to open your eyes if you haven't already done so. So taking a big breath in, and on your exhale, not being afraid to make noise or take up space, and filling back up with air when you're ready. Your big size. Here we go. Last one. On our exhale, we'll slowly open our eyes. Breathing in. <sighs> As you open your eyes, noticing the objects, shapes, textures, and colors in the room around you. Whew. so much for joining me today for music and mindfulness be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our online schedule of groups and classes sometimes after engaging in a long period of deep breathing I forget what I was gonna say so excuse me um, 
please uh, subscribe to our channel, stay up to date with our groups and channels, and if you love music and want to help keep us going, there's a link to donate down below, and even $5 makes a huge difference for all of us who need music now more than ever. And please, if you know somebody else who might enjoy these videos and being here with us, please send them on to them so that they can know about all of our classes and groups and join us. Thank you so much for being a part of this today, and until we meet again, take care.